My name is Sydney Peebles and I own Sydney Banks Luxury Hand Stitch Handbags. So I initially started in cowboy boots. I was getting my art degree at the time and it was before YouTube was very big. I saw a video of a Hungarian man named Marcel Mersan and he was hand making and designing a pair of men's dress shoes. I instantly like it was like a light went off in my head i knew okay this is this is what i've been waiting for this is what i want to do so i began i tried to find a way to get into shoes i went and trained um, making cowboy boots with lisa sorrell she's the top in the world and first learned that she told me if you can make a cowboy boot you'll be able to make anything since then i've transitioned i had a baby shoe business and then i had five kids really fast in a row and I had to figure out okay what what's going on what what am I going to do how am I going to do this and I started to have some um, almost like impressions in the middle of the night promptings that I needed to start to create again I didn't know what avenue or which way and I just it kept coming so I decided to do it and I started painting, I started sculpting, I started designing in my home, and I pulled out an, a bag that I had started several years before. And I, the top line, I couldn't finish on a machine. I was having trouble finishing it on a machine. I felt like I was losing the control of my work. And I decided, okay, I want to hand stitch. And at that point, it was a pivotal point. And I decided, okay, it's, it's hand stitched luxury bags. I want to make one of one bags. I don't repeat designs, um, but then I had to learn how to hand stitch. <laughs> I knew how to make boots. I knew the, all these different things about leather, but I didn't know about hand stitching. I saw after Charlie Trevor, he's a master saddle stitcher in Winston, England, and he agreed to train me. I traveled there to learn. I told him my ideas and my plans, and I didn't think anyone in the world was doing it, just doing one of one completely age using completely age-old techniques and hand stitching everything so while I was there I was trying to figure out my logo I was going to do Sydney Peebles which that's my name Sydney Peebles there's a town of Peebles in Scotland that has our family coat of arms and I wanted to study the coat of arms to use it in my brand on my travel to Peebles Scotland I there was road closure after road closure after road closure and I could not figure out what was going on and on our drive there was a barn owl that flew off of a stone fence post he came around the car and my window was down and he turned and looked me in the eye and flew away uh, in 2015 I had a stillborn son his name is Banks and um, at his burial there was a really special experience with birds and since then i've birds have been symbolic of him to me and my family so in that moment i realized maybe it's not sydney peebles that needs to be my brand maybe i should use my son's name banks and have it be sydney banks and have the barn owl be the logo and that's how the logo was born and how my brand really started Yes, so the title of my collection is called Daydream, and it ultimately represents my childhood dreams becoming a reality. Um, I have simple shapes that represent the simplicity of a childhood idea. Uh, it's been interesting because I have children of my own, and they have been watching me make these bags, and they've said, well, Mom, can we be a part of Fashion Week? Is there any way that we could design a bag for Fashion Week? I told them if they did enough designs, that I would maybe make one of them. And I thought that they would just forget about it. Over the summer, my seven-year-old and five-year-old drew hundreds of designs. And I realized, okay, they're serious. And so I made two of their designs, which will be on the runway, which, like I said, it's going to be, and they're going to be walking with them on the runway. <laughs> and so I'm really excited about it because this is my childhood dream. And then to see my own kids, to have their, like, to be a part of it. And that their dream and their desire, and they worked hard to be a part of it. So I'm, I'm really excited about it. Um, I think one thing I would like to say is it, my bags aren't just hand-stitched. They are all made with age-old techniques. So I really don't use machines. I skive by hand. I sand by hand. I use natural materials and leathers, 
Um, my run, my models on the runway, they're all going to be styled like with sustainability in mind with upcycled and vintage clothing, all styled by myself. And then at times I incorporate that into my handbag design. So one of the designs that is also going to be on the runway was made from an elderly man in the Netherlands. He collected marbles his entire life. And I used his marble collection to make one of the bags. And so all of them, all of them have a story. Every single one has a name and a story and you can read about each one. This one that I'm holding, I don't know if you can see it in the camera. I'll hold it up. This one that I'm holding, um, this one actually is named Banks, which is my son's name, which my brand is Sydney Banks. And um, the barn owl in my logo is holding this bag. And so this is the one bag and it's kind of like he's, he's holding the bag. I think if it's something that means enough to you and you feel it inside of you that this is what you're supposed to do, don't be afraid of going to the top and going to the best person to learn from. Um, don't think less of yourself or anything like that. Like just approach the people who know what they're talking about and be willing to pay to understand and learn. And that's if you really want to take it seriously. I think sometimes dabbling for too long can, and talking to the people who really don't know what they're doing, it doesn't get you very far. So I just think just have confidence in yourself. Don't, um, don't be afraid and just go after it. That's one thing that just really helped me.